For the past few years, Washington parents have found some relief through programs like this one. We provide them just with the school readiness and a safe place for their children to be. Melody Partridge is the vice president of Innovative Services Northwest, a nonprofit which educates preschoolers. It's funded in part by a state capital gains tax implemented three years ago. We want to make sure that every child gets that same amount of quality care. The tax only applies to people who make more than a quarter of a million dollars from stocks and bonds. Money goes toward things like child care subsidies for qualifying families. That revenue pays for our early learning. Though Monica Stonier, a state representative, worries that could soon change through Initiative 2109, a measure on Washington ballots that aims to repeal the tax. A measure like this puts us way backwards. Others disagree. We reached out to Let's Go Washington, the group sponsoring the initiative. We never heard back. Though our Seattle sister station interviewed a spokesman for the group who says the tax punishes success. I think having a capital gains tax is a big disincentive for people to come to our state now. And I think that's going to do tremendous harm to our economy going forward. I want people to think about what would our state look like if we hadn't had Amazon, if we hadn't had Microsoft founded here, it would be a completely different state. Still, a new poll from our sister station shows 55% of voters plan to vote against the initiative, which would uphold the tax. This is exactly what we should be investing in when we are thinking about uh, our revenue sources, the youngest people in our state who need the most. In Vancouver, Thomas Schultz, KGW News.